hello and welcome to another Harsh Noise Gear Review. I am here with three death metal pedals. Death metal madness. We got the death metal from DoD, the FX86. We got the death metal from Digitech. We got the death metal from DoD again, the FX86B. We have three different death metal pedals and today we are going to test them all out with uh, different instruments that are not guitars because I've seen review videos and there's review videos with, with running these running the uh, running guitars through at either any of these pedals but I want to compare and contrast the tone and sound of these pedals when used with various uh, harsh noise instruments and microphones uh, let's a uh, quick overview about the pedals they're all really identical they all have a level knob a low, a mid, and a high. Now, on the death metals from DoD, it also says rip, guts, pain, scream, because they're cool like that. Uh, right now, I have them set all roughly to an equal EQ. So let's uh, test out how it sounds. The first instrument that we're going to be testing out is a con is the Forbidden Fruit Shaker Box, which has a contact microphone attached to uh, two scrap metal bowls, and it's filled with scrap metal. And I make these. Uh, you can get them on my Etsy, uh, which I will link in the description. Uh, but this also might sound similar to some shaker box that you might have. So let's see what it sounds like through each of these pedals and we're going to change the EQ on each of them and really demonstrate what it sounds like. So let's go. So that's kind of a test of the lows mostly. Let's mix it up. Let's throw in a little more mid, reduce the lows on all of these, a little more mid, see how that sounds. Cool, let's try some highs. Let's turn up the highs. Let's see how crispy it can get. Okay, so that's kind of the pedals. That's like a quick rundown of how they each sound, a little focus on each of that. I'm going to now take turns with each of them and playing around with the effects of each, starting with the FX86. Now the FX86, I wanted to mention something about it, and that is that uh, normally the FX86 originally was, re was released with a 12 volt charger. Now the 12 volt cable is not something that I have and is not something that a lot of people have with these and a lot of people just run them on 9 volt. Now in running on 9 volt instead of 12 volt means that it sounds different. You power starve a piece of gear it's going to sound different. Um, but the uh, FX86 
when it has its uh, the original owner of this told me that when they would uh, use their 12 volt power it would sound cleaner and bassier than without but unfortunately I only have the 9 volt so we're gonna hear what that sounds like Okay, uh, let's try the death metal from Digitech now. And finally, the FX86B. I think I, uh, I hope that shows you a good example of what a shaker box or uh, specifically this one, what, what it would sound like through each of these pedals. Now, what I would like to uh, do next is show you how it would sound, uh, how these pedals each sound through a noise synthesizer. So right now I've got my Cyber Grunge synthesizer from Sele Official. We're going to plug this baby in. This is, a, this is a multi oscillator noise synth with a power starve. So you can hear kind of a variety of what it does. Um, I think that that shows a good example of uh, the boost and different textures it can add to another to a synthesizer. However, I want to go back to our shaker for a second because I've got something else to show y'all that I'm sure you were waiting for, which is all the pedals at once.
one last thing I want to show uh, is how vocals sound through each of these. Now I'm going to use the Forbidden Fruit Shaker Box to do vocals. I'm just going to put my mouth up against it and make contact with the metal and it will reverberate with the contact microphone and uh, we're going to see what vocals sound like through each of these three and then all together. Excuse me. All right. That was the, uh, that was that. I'd like to do one last test and one last demonstration of these three pedals with, um, a contact microphone and a sheet of metal. Now, this contact microphone is from Crank Sturgeon. They make fabulous microphones. And uh, I'm going to show you a few different things that you can do with a microphone stuck to a piece of metal. Uh, you might have some junk lying around your house to stick a microphone to. I find that a nice uh, 20 gauge piece of copper has great resonance. So I'm going to be demonstrating using that. I'm also going to be demonstrating using my friend's knife and chain. Let's... Uh, I'm going to do a little performance with these and with each of the death metals. Uh, let's hear what it sounds like.
All right. Thank you much, everyone. This has been Death Metal Madness. This is uh, the three death metal pedals. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the performances. Uh, please leave a comment if you have one of these pedals and you use it for noise and how you use it, what you use it for, what you think, which is the best pedal, which is your favorite, which, is, which has the coolest features. Go ahead and leave a comment. Don't forget to also like and subscribe and stop back for more videos next week.